Hello or hello back. Today I'm going to show you why Dorico, in my opinion, is the best music writing software for the classical guitarists. Stay because I think it's worth it. If you compose, arrange, rewrite notes or tabs on your computer, you have had contact with various programs, softwares as well. You know Finale, Sibelius, MuseScore and maybe even the Notion for iPad. As a guitarist you probably know also Guitar Pro or other softwares. In my opinion, all these programs, although different, are great for writing music, like Dorico. But what makes the difference that now I only work with Dorico and I am not sponsored on something like this, but to the point. Now I will show you what makes for me the difference. If you got your notes into the score with an usual workflow, then probably you like to write the fingerings and this is what takes years on the other softwares and works sometimes really bad in case of layout and getting a nice picture. In Dorico you do this, you push shift plus F and you choose the left or right hand, L for left, right for right and then you write your fingering like in word. I will show you, for example for the right hand and then I write and for the left hand and then I write the left hand. The algorithm brings the signs automatically to the perfect place and this is it, it speeds up my work by hours. Of course, this is not a tutorial for this software, only a small overview about my happiness that Dorico makes my life easier. I must admit that I was using Sibelius for many years, also Notion or MuseScore and even Guitar Pro. But Dorico workflow brings me to the other dimension, to the other speed level. It has also a lot of other great features like layout design, very stable algorithm, unlimited voice number, great sound library and even more. But the workflow with the fingers is the dream. I share it with you with pleasure. I know that Dorico is not a cheap investment, but I never regret this money in this point. That's all for today. I hope you found some value from this video. If you have any questions or maybe you are interested in deepening this topic, let me know in the comments. Stay tuned and stay totally guitarized and see you next time.